Hi friends, good morning. We bought a couple of trail cameras. And uh, so far, we thought we were just going to get deer, but uh, so far we've got six different species of wild animals running around the Sonoida property here, uh, not counting uh, my granddaughter. Anyway, we're going to go and uh, see what we got on the trail cameras. Come on. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. Someone seemed a little curious about the new camera, came over for a really close look. Apparently, it then went over and got the carport light motion sensor turned on. So we got a good look at a couple more coming. And then suddenly... Something scared him. We don't know what it was. We never realized how many deer there are on the property until we set up this trail camera. It's about a week since we took this video now, and we're not seeing them again. So we think they were moving down from the Santa Rita Mountains to lower elevations for the winter. But we got uh, at least 30 of them in one shot. That Tupperware container you see there behind the deer, we had some old uh, watermelon that we set out there, and wait till you see what actually ate it before the deer got there. Well, this guy says, I'm tired. I'm going to lay down here and just take a little rest, see if, well, maybe they'll bring me some more watermelon. Well, we're not counting this ferocious creature as one of the wild species. We don't know this cat, but it sure looks like a domesticated cat to us. This here is definitely not your domesticated cat. That there is a skunk, but it's not Pepe Le Pew. Pepe Le Pew had one stripe down his back. This one has two white stripes, one on each side, and black down the back. I don't know what's going on here. I, this is kind of like... Uh, skunk actions I don't understand but anyway well I think that this is the guy that ate all of the watermelon and it's empty now oh let's see if there's any more watermelon for me mmm no not a bit lick a little juice maybe but that rotten skunk, he didn't leave me any. Where'd he go? I'll find him. I just set the trail camera on the bumper of my Jeep last night. Let's see what we got this morning. Well, we got Lynn coming home after dinner in the house. The black cat made another appearance, and then, surprise. I don't know if that was wild, but it certainly was unexpected. In the morning, we got a guy with a cotton tail and big ears. I named him Cassidy. Hop along, Cassidy. All right, Mr. Ugly's back, and you see all of that stuff blowing there? You know what that is? That's dust. Well, how do you get dust? This is how you get dust, with cows running around raising cane. Yeah, here comes another dust maker. See the dust flying? They're over there by my motorhome making dust. A couple of troublemakers there. And the next morning, here they come to start fooling around again. But we had a plan this time. We're tired of cleaning up after them. You know, if you got a dog, you clean up after it, but... The owner is not coming to... Yeah, yeah rawhide. Keep them doggies yeah, rolling, yeah, rolling, yeah. rolling, rolling, rolling. Yeah, Jesse ran them off. And what do we have here? A fox. 
we threw a handful of dog food out there, dry dog food, and he's lapping it up. When the animal is really close to the camera, it shuts down the infrared for some reason. So he's farther away when he activated the camera, so we get a much brighter picture. But it's pitch black, totally in the dark. That tunnel that you see there, it's actually a concrete culvert underneath an old railroad uh, abutment. And the tracks are all gone. It was abandoned in 1929. But the animals use it to go back and forth. And we know that there are some other animals that track through there pretty regularly. We see their tracks. He's finding every last little morsel of the dog food we put out there. He seems a little on alert. We know there are other animals real close. And what Arizona Wildlife Collection would be complete without these creatures? There's a large herd of them. They just keep going by, more and more and more of them. Uh, estimates in the neighborhood are there are about 20. Javelina. Sorry I didn't get a better picture of these, but with a trail camera, you get what you get. There's actually a season for hunting javelina, three of them actually, uh, hunting and then bow hunting and then a season for just youth to hunt them. There's going to be one coming out of the bushes here in a minute to get a little bit better of a view of it. Uh, here he comes. Like I said, you get what you get with the trail camera. They're using that tunnel. We know there's a lot of tracks in there. Havelina, the cactus pig, Arizona. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.